Hey you guys, thank you so much for tuning into another read for me. So this is going to be a, like a daily vibes oracle message read. I don't know what to call it, but we're just going to check in with the energy, the vibes, okay, for the collective or for my subscribers, I guess you could say. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to uh, see what messages I can channel for you guys. And we are using my daily vibes oracle cards, of course. And y'all, um, I'm not really sure if I mentioned this before, but... At first, I did plan on selling these cards, y'all, but I don't want to sell them anymore um, just for, like, personal reasons. If I do, it will be, like, a completely different um, design or whatever. So, yeah. Okay, what messages can I get to the collective? What do they need to know for their daily vibe? Oh, we got making moves, y'all. We got hidden. So, for some of you guys, there could be some, like, hidden moves. I'm... Why well, I feel like somebody could be move, moving like a ninja, okay? Look, <laughs> it's definitely giving like ninja vibes, okay? So making moves, make your next move your best move. So it's like you're playing chess, okay? So keep you could definitely be wanting to keep your moves hidden. For some of you guys, you could definitely be about to get some type of restart in a situation and you're about to make um, the necessary moves to like move forward. Also too, I'm hearing, cause I feel like that two of wands type of energy, that's crazy. Sometimes when I be starting off with the Oracle cards, I can tell like which tarot cards will pop out, but I do feel like the two of wands type of energy where you guys could be, it's like, you're about to make a really bold move. Like you're about to ex execute some type of plan that maybe you haven't been thinking about for a while. So yeah, but it's like, whatever you're doing, it's like, you could be needing to, you know, um keep your plans hidden basically or maybe you have been keeping them hidden so tell me more and make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up so yeah there's a, a opportunity showing up here look we got hidden showing up again y'all so look you see how it's like an eye being crossed out i kind of forgot what was going through my head when i was making these y'all but <laughs> excuse me but yeah it's like look listen nobody should see you receive this opportunity or opportunities like nobody should see you walk through this door of opportunity or for you to um go into like another situation here so it could be like a new job or something like that but yeah it definitely shows where someone's about to walk through this door of opportunity or opportunity so it could be more than one it could be like two for someone this could also to be like an opportunity to like start over or there's some type of like re refresh or a renewal as well there was something else i was gonna say and it totally slipped my mind what was it i think that was it but if it hopefully it comes back to my mind but oh well tell me more what else do they need to know what else do they need to know what else do they need to know I don't know why the card's showing up here. Some of you guys could definitely be leaving a situation here with this bye bye card. It looks really good in regards to movement. Some of you guys could also be traveling or you could be like relocating for some type of opportunity. It's like you got some type of um, good news surrounding work or career, especially if this is something. Um, this is like a situation where it's like once you receive some type of communication, like a message, it's almost like a okay go. Like things have been solidified and so now you're needing to like move forward. You could be needing to plan. It's almost like you could be needing to um, set some things up surrounding this opportunity, especially if you are wanting to like relocate. So, you know, that's like a big transition, like a big shift. That energy has been showing up a lot too. A lot of people are going through transitions. Don't worry about what's going on in the media, y'all. It's like good things are in the midst. It's not like it's the end of the world, basically. And I wanted to talk about it too, because it's like, don't do not let that stuff get to your head. It's like basically it's just to per um project fear and anxiety onto people, which lowers your vibration. I'm like, listen, if the world gonna end, it's just gonna end and listen, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I ain't losing no sleepover. I ain't scared. So hopefully y'all feeling the same way. Tell me more. So we got create. So look, it looks really good in regards to like creative opportunities. Um, also to like creative projects too, y'all. You are doing great. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're creating, whether you could be like your own, um, worst self-critic too because you know how sometimes like creatives and like artists it's like 
we may not like our work, but then like other people like it so it's like <laughs> if you get it you get it but like usually that's how it is it's like you it may it may be like a masterpiece and you can think of like you know i could have did this better or i don't really like it it's not my best work but in other people's eyes it's like something really really great so yeah you're doing great so try to relax here as well if um if you are feeling like worried about what you're creating but i feel this energy of someone starting over y'all so this could be in regards to work career love however you want to put it but it's like someone's starting fresh so you could be you know how you move to like a whole nother city or a state that's like someone starting fresh it's like you may not know not a single soul out there but you're starting fresh it's like spirit guide guided you towards this um this new direction or like this new phase and just know that everything's going to work out perfectly fine even though if you don't know anybody there tell me more so we got half faith so look and we got keep it real so it's like whatever you could be needing to whatever type of moves that you could be needing to make y'all it's like keep it real with yourself like be honest and truthful with yourself do not um deceive yourself here as well with this keep it real card that's showing up here so yeah this looks really really good but try to have faith in regards to what you're creating like if you are starting it's almost like someone could be starting life over it may feel that way like you're starting life over so it's like something new um just have faith in, in it i'm gonna get one more tell me more tell me more so look, this hidden card keep wanting to pop out, y'all. I gotta clarify this because look, this is the third time we done seen this card. Listen, I'm trying to figure out what this is about. Let me see. But with this hidden card, I keep and this is why I was saying refresh too, because this was actually when I kept seeing it, this hidden card, this refresh card was at the bottom too. So yeah, it definitely looks like there's some type of um restart. It's like spirit is um hitting the restart button on your life, basically. That's what it looks like. But let me uh, clarify some of these just to see. I want to just start off with hidden because I'm just trying to be nosy. Oh, if you guys are interested in the general slash energy reads, you can definitely book one with me. Um, they are $33.33. So yeah, definitely let me know if you want one. Um, I am. I have been like very, very consistent, y'all, with... Like, every time I say, if you reach out to me, like, if you click on that link and you're sending me some type of message about you want to read in y'all, if it does not start with, hi, hello, good morning, good afternoon, I do not respond back. I don't care what, how urgent it may, the message may sound, I do not care because when I respond back, like, if I was to respond back to you, I'm going to say, hi, so-and-so, make sure I'm typing out your name that you sent to me. Say, hi, thank you so much for reaching out. So... I just need the energy to be reciprocated but you know if you reach out to me and i did not respond back it's either because you're asking about information that's already located in my description box or you did not start off with some type of simple greeting tell me about hidden tell me about hidden for the collective so we have this knight of cups there could be some type of offer that's coming in y'all um, with this Knight of Cups, it could be romantic too, but um, also too, I'm hearing that some of y'all could get some type of invite as well. Um, why does it feel wow? This is very um interesting. It kind of feel like a um, let's just say you get invited to some type of like private party. I'm like, what? I don't know if this is about to turn left or what. Like, is it about to get dark? But like. <laughs> No, yeah, it kind of feel like someone's getting invited to some type of like private party. It's like it's like a, some type of private situation. But now, nah, let me see what's showing up here. Um, I'm gonna see what other cards. Tell me about a hidden again for the collective. Look, we got the magician card showing up here. Two of cups. There could be some type of connection that's coming in for someone, y'all. Um, there's definitely an opportunity. It could definitely be like multiple opportunities for someone. Of course, use your intuition, your discernment too, because I don't know y'all dealing with are like you know what's going on specifically for someone but it looks really good in regards to um yeah it's like some type of element of surprise y'all but it kind of feels like a um like let's just say i go outside and i look at my door and there's like an invitation basically and i'm like who did this come from because like i don't be talking to nobody but 
it kind of feel like that and it's almost like some type of um reservation too that's what it feels like like i'm trying to figure out what this energy is it feels like a surprise or something or something that's like playing out tell me about hidden but it's about to come um it's about to come out tell me more about hidden why is hidden here we got everything is fine so yeah, some of y'all could have definitely went through some type of ending, right? Spirit saying everything's fine. It looks like something new is coming up. So yeah, with this card that's showing up here, um, with this tarot deck, y'all, it has two ten of swords. The one that came out specifically is everything is fine. So if you did go through some type of ending, there's going to be some type of rec uh, recovery. So that's why I was seeing too with that refresh card. Stop dwelling on this ending, whatever this happened. It's like you're crying over spilled milk. It's like, why are you doing that when you got more in store for you it's like even though she has two cups it's like she can have more too if she just like you know stops dwelling on whatever this is that, that happened you have to continue to move forward also too it's like spirit saying that you've been telling yourself the same old sad story too singing the same old sad song and you need to create a new one create a new story or a new uh, a new song you know how like people say um people create like playlists it's like the soundtrack to their life basically so it's like what what songs is in your playlist are they sad sobby songs like you, it make you feel depressed or are they uplifting songs like you know it's getting you hyped up tell me about making moves so we got the six of cups that's showing up here. A past energy could be very significant for someone. Um, a king of pentacles is significant too. This king of pentacles, a lot of resources, um, a lot of stability showing up here too with this king of pentacles. But I feel like with this, um, it's like some type of small move. And this has been showing up a lot too, y'all. It's like some type of small move or gesture that someone makes leads up to something else. So let's just say you connect with this king of pentacles. They could ask you out for lunch or something. I don't know. Or invite you somewhere. But then it's like by you even being around this person or connecting with this person. And this could be you too. They, um, they share their resources. This person is like very, very generous. So it's like they could have business connections. Um, I don't know. Just connect to connections in general. Whoever this is, they have um, their network. They, yeah. You know how, like, some people, they could be, like, very, very, um, secluded, but low-key, they got, like, a whole bunch of connections. Like, they're, um, they have a large network. They network with a lot of people, or they have worked with a lot of people. So, it could be, like, companies or something like that. That's what it feel like, y'all. So, yeah. So, Capricorn towards Virgo is very significant. Um, tell me about this past energy here, the Six of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Oh, look, y'all. Seven of Swords. There's some type of... Uh, somebody being, like, real sneaky. Somebody being real sneaky. Hold on. Tell me about this Seven of Swords. It's a past connection, too. Tell me about this Seven of Swords. Oh, someone's moving in silence, too. It's like a quiet type of energy. or like, very um, self-reserved. Tell me about this Seven of Swords. So yeah, there's a situation here, y'all. I feel like um, there's an energy that's coming towards you to where you're in a seven of pentacles type of energy and all you need is, I feel like this person needs like resources or something. It's like they got it, but it's like they missing something. So they need to, it's like she may not have a lot of people to like network with or he or she. That's what it looks like with the seven of pentacles. Tell me about the seven of swords. Tell me about the seven of swords. So yeah, page of wands. There's somebody in your energy, y'all. Don't know who it could be. It could be like an ex-coworker. I don't know. Someone that you just randomly met. I don't know. Um, but it looks like someone is definitely making a move towards you. Three of cups. It looks really good in regards to some type of like social. I'm hearing elites, elite, y'all. That's what it feels like. It's almost like um, by you connecting with someone, whether it be romantic or just business, y'all, like you're going to be invited to like, um, private parties. It's like real low key chill, but it's like you, it's able, you're able to, um, network too. So yeah, this looks really good. Look, page of wands, 
definitely some good news a message that's going to be showing up here but right now it's like whoever this is um you could have someone who could be like um i want to use the word stalking so bad but not in a dangerous type of way y'all like you're not in danger trust me you are fully protected and it's some good energy surrounding this but it's like right now someone's like movements are like they could have like some type of secret it's like um the secret could be simply them watching what you're creating or like what you're doing for work basically it could be that simple and look three of wands you're waiting for your ships to come in so whatever type of goals or plans that you could have y'all yeah it's like this person needs some type of resource or they need to network so yeah that's what it looks like um tell me about opportunity here Tell me about opportunity. This was a really good read, y'all. I just got led to do one, so I was like, let me just do one real quick. Um, look, Wheel of Fortune card that's showing up here, too. So it looks really good in regards to some type of renewal, y'all, for somebody. But expect a really um, positive change surrounding work, career. Uh, opportunity is definitely showing up for someone, y'all. And it's like, it could definitely be an opportunity for you to start over. We got a star card that's showing up here too. So a lot of good energy showing up here. Um, what else? Oh, sorry. I'm reading a comment. Um, let me check in with the energy of... I'm going to check in with the energy of this making moves no actually no let's just see what that seven of swords because somebody's like being a little sneaky sneaky tell me about this seven of swords look door to spirit we got broken heart that's showing up here too so um with this door to spirit that's showing up here it's almost like someone could have been like in a way y'all it feel low-key like someone has been like running or like sneaking off or something with this door to spirit. But again, like heavy emphasis on like doors, like a um, door a opportunity or like a door to opportunity or something. Tell me more. Look, we got a strategy. So yeah, look, someone's definitely planning something. So we got strategy and we got man holding a heart. So yeah, it looks like you could you could definitely have someone in your energy. And this could also to be you you too, because you know the roles could be reversed, y'all. Um I do see where there's some type of like it could be a love offer, y'all, for somebody that's showing up here, but it don't have to be like the whole read. It's like a love read. Tell me about opportunity. Tell me about opportunity. So we got the seven chakra Archangel Uriel. And I believe this is like the crown chakra, broken heart. Um, yeah, whatever this opportunity is, it's coming towards you because you have the wisdom and the knowledge here, y'all. Um, that's showing up here. So I'm going to give y'all like a small, like a slight scenario because that's what it feels like. Let's just say you connected with someone. It could have been an earth sign. It doesn't have to be. But this person has like a abundance of resources. Like they have a really large network um, or like net worth or they know a lot of people. It's like they can have, they can just like pick up the phone at any given moment and just like connect you with someone basically. That's what it seems like. But they're trying to come up with some type of strategy because there is like a sneaky type of energy where it's like the person could have been spying. Um, and they're, kind of, they're trying to come up with some type of strategy to come forward or to like make a move um, towards you. They want to start over or they're wanting to um, renew the connection. That's what it looks like. But it does look like either you or this person could have definitely had like a really tough ending. There could have been like a, it's almost like someone could have been going through like a breakup or something. That's what it looked like too. Cause that heartbroken had showed up too. So yeah. Um, I do see where it's like a connection is going to be healed or there's like a, there's an opportunity to, there's an opportunity for someone to get like a second chance with this little fortune card that's showing up here too. I'm going to get one more. Tell me about opportunity. No, actually, tell me about hidden. Let me see. Tell me about hidden. 
Tell me about hidden. So we got mature man. Yeah, the masculine energy is the one who's showing up as like the resources. We got privileged lady. Yeah, I feel like, y'all, it feels like very elite. Okay, with this privileged lady that's showing up here, it's like, she kind of gives like empress vibes. But don't it look like she, like she would be invited to like a private party? It's like something very secluded too. There's some type of invitation. I don't know why this feels kind of old too. It's kind of like the, not medieval, but it's like that, when I used to um, send out invitations, it could have been like on a scroll or something. I don't even know, y'all. That's, that's what it feels like. I don't know why they're showing up. This could be someone that you met in a past life too, y'all. Because I, I definitely am getting something like very, very old. Um, <laughs> That's what it feels like. It's like almost like royalty too. That's what it feels like. Tell me about opportunity. So look, occupation. So yeah, resources are coming in, y'all. Look, poverty. It's like even though you could be working, you're lacking resources. You have the skill and the talent, the knowledge, the ideas, but you just need somebody else to come in to help you. Whether you believe it or not, y'all, I do believe truly that, you know, spirit will definitely send somebody in to help somebody out, whether it be just like a phone number or a contact or something that helps them out with their occupation, their work. Tell me more about opportunity. Actually, tell me about um, making moves. Tell me about making moves for the collective, please. Tell me about making moves. So look, we got lovers. So this could be some type of connection here. It could be romantic for someone with the lovers card, y'all. We got bad health. See, look. Um, start making that noise. We got bad health. So it does look like someone could have been stressed out or it's like someone needed to heal. Um, something could have been like physically going on with this person. Not anything like, um, not any type of like serious illness, y'all, but it could have been some type of, um, like they could have actually needed to go to some type of like um, recovery center too. That's what it looks like. And it looks like it could have been a masculine energy. Like someone needed to, um, to like go through recovery or something, whether it be like a heartbreak or some type of disappointment, I don't know, or some type of something physical going on with them. That's what it looks like too. So yeah, it looks like some type of past connection, y'all. This is not someone who hurt you. Let me throw that out as who. This is not somebody, this ain't no toxic um person that you could have been dealing with and you cut them off. No, this is something really, really good. And I hope that it resonates. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel as, as well.